and then it's Porsche time coming out the hill and a Kia on the start finish line. Yeah, the this, start line. this is the Kia EV6 GT. So this is new EV6. It's a whole new electric vehicle. Um, and this is the GT. So it's essentially more power, more torque, still the same, fundamentally the same car, but uh, motors, motors at the front axle, rear axle. Um, yeah, very quick off the line. We haven't driven it yet, but we will be shortly in its uh, I really like the look of this. I think Kia's 1988 edition. And behind that, now we've got the Kia. Kia EV6 GT. Well, this is a, a great looking car. Kia coming on in leaps and bounds. And uh, you threw the figures at me yesterday for this one. What sort of power has this got? I was really impressed. So bear in mind, it's a Kia, two motors, 585 horsepower, 0 to 62 in 3.5 seconds. Yes, and it's one of those cars I now remember when we had an interview at the top of the hill yesterday. It's got its sort of stats and facts on its uh, on the, the C-pillar. So just at the back of the car, you can see that 585 horsepower and some torque figures as well. So just to help you. But the good thing is those numbers are very big. And it's amazing as well when you think about just where Kia's kind of come from, really, because 15 years ago, they were marketing their smallest car, the Canto, as the cheapest car you could buy. Or one of the cheapest cars, certainly. You can go into a dealership and buy it, put a deposit down with a pound coin. And yet they've come on leaps and bounds. Their design is really strong. This looks fantastic. And the technology underneath as well is wild, like f more than 500 horsepower. Well, I don't think with cars like this, they'll need to lure people in with the seven-year warranty.